The James Webb Space Telescope has just dropped a bombshell in the world of physics. Shattering what scientists thought they knew about the universe with a single stunning image. It's rewriting the rules and ending a fiery debate that's raged among scientists. Webb's latest caption is not only visually fascinating, it's an eye-opener that's enhancing our understanding of the cosmos. Get ready to rethink everything. The crisis in cosmology refers to a significant and persistent problem in astrophysics. The age and expansion rate of the universe as estimated by different methods do not agree. This discrepancy has puzzled scientists and sparked a series of debates and research efforts to understand the underlying cause. Cosmology, the study of the universe's origin, structure, evolution, and eventual fate, has made substantial progress over the past century. The Big Bang Theory, which suggests that the universe has been expanding from a hot tense initial state for about 13.8 billion years, is the prevailing cosmological model. This expansion is characterized by the Hubble constant, a value that represents the rate at which the universe is expanding. There are several ways to measure the Hubble constant, broadly falling into two categories, local measurements and early universe measurements. Local measurements involve looking at astronomical objects within the universe, such as Cepheid variable stars and Type Ia supernovae. These are known as standard candles because their intrinsic brightness is well understood, allowing astronomers to calculate their distances from us. By measuring the speed at which these objects are moving away from us, scientists can estimate the Hubble constant. On the other hand, early universe measurements are derived from observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation CMB, the afterglow of the Big Bang. By studying the slight fluctuations in temperature and polarization of the CMB, scientists can infer not only the age of the universe but also its rate of expansion. The crisis emerged when astronomers realized that these two methods were giving significantly different values for the Hubble constant. Local measurements suggest the universe is expanding faster than what is predicted by observations of the CMB. This discrepancy suggests that there may be new physics at play that we do not yet understand. Or there could be systematic errors in one or both sets of measurements. The advent of the James Webb Space Telescope brought fresh insights into this problem with its unprecedented resolution and sensitivity. The JWST has been able to look further back in time and at fainter objects than ever before. It was anticipated that the data from JWST would help refine the measurements of the Hubble constant. However, early observations have seemed to complicate the picture even more, providing new data that may not fit neatly within our existing models. The implications of this crisis are far-reaching. If the discrepancy is due to new physics, it could require a revision of the standard model of cosmology. For instance, there could be previously unknown particles or forces affecting the universe's expansion. Alternatively, it might hint at the need for a new understanding of dark energy, the mysterious force thought to be accelerating the expansion of the universe over time. Theories in cosmology have evolved as new observations have challenged existing models. For instance, the discovery of the CMB in 1965 provided strong evidence for the Big Bang Theory, and against the steady state theory. Similarly, the discovery of the accelerating expansion of the universe in the late 1990s led to the introduction of dark energy, a concept that was not part of the original Big Bang Theory. Each time new data has been introduced, cosmologists have had to examine the robustness of their theories and, in many cases, develop new theories or modify existing ones to account for the observations. The current crisis may similarly lead to significant advancements in our understanding of the universe. While the crisis in cosmology presents a formidable challenge, it is also an exciting opportunity. It drives technological advancement as scientists require more precise instruments to make better observations. It fosters collaboration across international and interdisciplinary boundaries, 
as understanding the universe is a question that intrigues nations and fields alike. Most importantly, it exemplifies the dynamic nature of science, where knowledge is never absolute but constantly evolving as we expand our horizons and deepen our understanding of the cosmos. Cosmology faces a new challenge, the S8 tension, alongside the well-known Hubble tension. This tension revolves around the distribution and density of matter in the universe, crucial for understanding its structure and history. The concept of lumpiness describes the uneven spread of matter across the cosmos, ranging from dense galaxy clusters to vast voids. Weak gravitational lensing, a technique used by scientists, involves studying subtle distortions in distant galaxy images caused by the gravitational influence of cosmic structures. This method helps map the distribution of dark matter, an invisible substance with gravitational pull, aiding in understanding the universe's lumpiness. On the flip side, scientists examine the cosmic microwave background, CMB, which is the afterglow from the Big Bang. This light has traveled for about 13.8 billion years, carrying with it information from the early universe. By studying the CMB, scientists can infer the early lumpiness of the universe, which should align with the large-scale structure we see today. Here's where the S8 tension comes in. These two methods don't agree. The clumpiness measured from the CMB suggests a smoother distribution of matter. Compared to what is observed directly in the nearby universe using gravitational lensing, this discrepancy points to a possible gap in our understanding of the universe's evolution from its smooth beginnings to its current clumpy state. The resolution to this tension could lead to revolutionary changes in cosmology. If the measurements are accurate, it may hint at new physics, requiring an update to the standard model of cosmology. The framework that describes the dynamics and content of the universe over time. Theories of the universe have evolved dramatically. For instance, the Big Bang Theory, which posits that the universe began as a hot dense point and has been expanding ever since, was once contentious. Evidence like the CMB, and the observation of the expanding universe has since turned it into the leading theory of cosmic origin. Another area where our understanding has progressed is dark energy. In the late 1990s, observations of distant supernovae revealed that the universe's expansion is accelerating, not slowing down as previously thought. This led to the concept of dark energy, a mysterious force driving this acceleration. Its nature remains one of the biggest questions in cosmology. JWST will revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos, with its advanced capabilities. Delving into the universe's infancy to refine measurements of expansion and matter distribution, potentially resolving the S8 tension with new insights. Whether the resolution lies in understanding dark energy better, accounting for the behavior of dark matter, or finding entirely new physics, the implications will be profound. Cosmology's crises, such as the Hubble and S8 tensions, are not stumbling blocks but stepping stones. Thank you for watching another episode of Elizib, while you are still here don't forget to like and subscribe.